Hi friends, I welcome you all again to the next lesson on 0 to 1 advanced SQL course. Gradually we are learning and moving up upwards to learning more advanced concepts. From now on, whatever lessons we will be learning all comes into advanced SQL. So these are the questions which are asked a lot of many times in most of the interviews to test the candidates SQL and aptitude skills. So in this particular uh, series, I would be focusing on real case scenarios also, which you encounter a lot of many times in, uh, in, in the real projects which we will be solving. In this video, the purpose of the video is to learn about rank function. In a rank function is one of the window functions which comes in MySQL. Three different rank function. Each of the function has a different uh, case which will be using the first is the rank function so rank function is basically used to provide rank to all the uh, all the numerical values column whichever you want so let's say we have a table where we store the marks of the students and the name of the students and we need to provide the rank uh, rank position of the student in the class we can use the rank function in that particular case now what happens in rank function let's say two students have got marks 48 out of 50 and the highest scorer is 49 so in rank function 49 would be provided at rank 1 and 48 the both student will be provided the rank 2 while rank 3 will go on missing the next rank would be rank 4 while in dense rank it does not leave this particular gap it will start uh, from the 49th uh, marks student would get rank 1 both the students who have marks 48 would get rank 2 and the let's say the other student has the marks as 47 so he'll get rank 3 but in rank function does not this does not happen in rank function, the student who has the 47 marks will get rank 4. This is a difference in rank and density. There is another function, row number. This ranks all records differently, even if the value are same. In our example, both the students have the same marks, 48 and 48. While in row number function, they won't be categorized in just a single rank value. They would be distinguished with different rank like uh, marks 49 would be provided at rank 1 marks 48 would be provided at rank 2 and 3 so there will be no gap present to understand it more better let us quickly move to the editor and see real world application so i've uh, wrote the code to create a table name as employees in which i'll be storing the in which i'll be storing the employees data so in this table you can see the first column is the first name, last name, the level of the employee, the year of ex experience and the salary of the and let's do a select star from employees. Let's run this code and so yeah we are getting our data. Now I'll, uh, I'll get the use case and uh, here what we will do. I want to rank the employees based on their salary so uh, whichever employee has the highest salary will get rank one the second highest salary will get rank two and likewise so you will be using the rank function here let's see so select star comma rank over order by salary dsc because i want to uh, sort out the uh, the salary first in descending order and then I want to rank it so whoever has the highest salary I'll be providing with them as rank 1 so the syntax is basically we'll need to write the rank function and then over so over which column are is the user wanting to rank the values which is present in the database we have the salary column and I want to rank the salary of the employees. So I have written over 
and then i'm telling order by salary because i want to order it in a descending order the pe person with the highest salary will get the rank one and likewise and then simply i will give from my table name i'll remove this let's see the output so you can see the very last column first our data has been sorted out the salary has been sorted out in the descending order sophia has rank got the rank 1 the last column is the rank column well nick has got the rank 2 and likewise so all these employees have been ranked on basis of their salary i would consider another use case where uh let's say uh two people with similar salary kate and john they have the same salary structure let us find them in our so you can see they have rank 6 rank 7 is missing that's the characteristics of the rank function so it will remove the next value which would have come up because two people have rank 6 so it removes the rank 7 and the next person gets the rank 8 what if will be using the dense rank function here let's see what is the result so let's run this code you can see john and kate have been given rank 6 but when we are using the dense rank function the next ranking starts with rank 7 that's the feature of the dense rank function now let's say i don't want people with the same salary to have the same rank and i want the rank to be different for different people in that case we'll be using the row number function so i'll just replace the dense rank with row number and i'll hit run you can see john and kate despite having the salary as 200 they have been provided as rank 6 and rank 7 so i would request you to play along the rank function and get into lot more scenarios where you will be able to figure out more use cases which can be helpful in the real world projects which we do i would like to display one more example here as you can see the level of the employees so there are three level of the employees how do we get the distinct level of employees so we'll do a select distinct level from employees and this would reflect me all the distinct uh, levels which are present in our database so there are three distinct levels senior mid level and junior let's say i get a use case in my office and i want to rank the salary of the employees in their uh, respective level level so uh, the senior level of employees will have, would have a different rank set the mid level employees would have a different rank set and the junior level employees would have a different rank set let's perform the code and let's see the result i'll just comment out this code and we'll use this code only one change which we need to do is we need to enter the partition by clause and on what basis are we partitioning the rank function we need to tell our code so first we need to get whole data and then we'll be partitioning it on the basis of the level column so we'll provide partition by level and then we are telling our code to uh, to pre maintain the salary structure in such a way that it is from descending order in all the levels 
or rather all the partitions which have been created. Partition in this case is the level of the employees. One partition is of all the senior level employees. The second partition is of all the middle mid level employees. And the next partition is all is of all the junior level employees. Let us run this code and see the output. So you can see all the junior level employees have come up and they have been ranked 290 is the highest salary of Jack in the junior level and he's got a rank 1. Likewise Steven has the third highest salary of 160. He has got a rank 3. Coming to mid level employees the similar levels of structure follows. So in this case you can see that all the uh, all the level of employees have been uh, separated out and then they have been ranked can we say that all the level of employees are now acting as a different window and that is basically what we mean by the window so rather than operating on single rows we now operate on all the set of the rows and present all the rows in the form of windows now you would be wondering similar this is similar to group by clause because there also we are, we are grouping uh, we are able to act on all the single rows despite creating all the separate windows but in group by clause once we create the group we can't act on that we can't act on the separate separate rows we'll be performing all the functions on all the groups which have been created this does not happen in the window function and that gives an edge to the window functions which is present in mysql we'll be looking into more window functions in the next lessons till then thank you for watching this video.